Start with a musical selection. I keep it short because I don't want to get a copyright strike. That's why I do this. You gotta gotta break it up. You can listen to it on your own. <laughs> so, so I just wanted to do a follow up on. I, I you know who knows right? I didn't know you guys. I didn't know that that passive resistance was relevant. To you guys, right? I've been saying it all along. What do you think? I'm fucking some... You think I'm some patty cake guy, right? So, I read a lot of your comments. I just want to... Um, it seems like... It seems like the... Um, the the five points that I pointed out this morning, right? Can actually be refined to three. Thank you, crowd. Uh, so, I just want to... I just want to read this in. Because this is very real. I mean, this is... I'm not fucking around. <laughs> I'm not... You know? I'm not fucking around, right? This is, this, this is our country, right? And instead of sitting here today regurgitating, you know, the play-by-play -play bullshit news, I think this is worthy, and I, I appreciate your, your input in, in this discussion. Let's leave it as a, uh, as a board discussion. So, so the three, I'll keep it, I'll keep it brief. I don't want it to be too much about me. So you demilitarize, de-police, right? <clears throat> you have to, because the reason why you do that is because the military, in times of economic collapse, <clears throat> the pressing force will turn the military against the people. And they'll say that it's, you know, to restore order, mar capital, uh, martial, martial law. That's why you have to do it. That's why you have to encourage all military, all branches of military, including the Coast Guard, the Coast Guard and the, uh, I don't know, any, any, I don't know much about military, but the militaries within, within our borders have to, de they have to disarm. And someone mentioned, take your weapons with you. Yeah, you're probably right, right? We want an armed, we want an armed citizenry. It's within our rights to do that. This is not a radical idea. This is in the Constitution of the United States of America. The Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. Right? So, and the right to form militias. Right? That's all we're talking about. That's all we're talking about. Right? So you have to demilitarize, and we need the assistance of law enforcement across the country to disarm. Keep your arms. Bring your arms home. But stay home. You're not military. You're not police. You work on behalf of the people. Right? That's what we're talking about. You have to do that. Because we're talking about passive resistance. We don't want to talk about, this is not war, civil war. It's not civil war. It's 99% of the people taking out the 1% ruling class that have been screwing us for so long and we're tired of it. We're done, right? That's all it is. And so the second part of it is is you have to encourage that for at least a three days or a week, whatever it takes. The other part of that is, is defund. That's what I was trying to say earlier. I threw out hospitals and oil, and people gave good reasons why. Those shouldn't be specific targets. So let's just refine that to defund, which means stay home, passive resistance. Long history of it. If, if you read you know, how India, um, India got, rid of the, got rid of British rule, was basically under the direction of one man Gandhi sitting in his you know sitting in his house saying don't participate stay home and they brought the British to to their knees within hours you know within a few days because the oligarchy depends on the 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 consumption the constant you know the consumption and the fear the the use of courts the use of uh, suing people and imprisoning people right but when all the people line up together they can't you know the those oppressing forces can't throw everyone in jail. They also can't sue everyone. So the courts jam. The banking, the banks freeze. Everything comes to a screeching halt. And then they're willing to negotiate. That's how it, that's how it, that, that's how it happens. So 
So in terms of the the uh, defunding, you stay home. You don't go to work. You don't go into the cubicle and and do the job for the big corporation or the or any anything. Just for a few days, stay home with your goddamn family that miss you. Stay home and play with your cats, for Christ's sake. Right? Come up with. Right, that's what we're talking about. Right, you have to, you know. So you, you stay home. You don't participate. Student loans. You take those and you throw them in the fucking garbage. You don't pay these bills. Right, credit cards, mortgages, tax. Don't pay tax. There's no good reason why, why the citizenry should be paying tax when corporations have all the money. Right, you shouldn't be paying tax. We should tax our corporations, our publicly traded corporations. We're not looking to dis dissolve them. We're looking to, to, to bring order back to it, to, to, to income and wealth inequality, to bring balance back to that. That's all. And it's not, like I say, it's not a, uh, it's not a, um, it's, it could be messy, and that's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. You figure it out after, you, after it collapses. Uh, so the gas, you know, don't, don't consume, right? Don't consume. That's number two. Don't consume. Don't pay the bills. Enough with these fake elections. There's no fucking, no more of that. No more bullshit fake elections, right? Let the, let the pieces fall and we'll see what, what is standing. This is a good president, by the way. Support Trump. Trump is Trump. Support it. He's, he's the man. Right. Number three, America first. It has to be that way. Someone suggested that, and this is interesting, that uh, that uh, the to to secure a border, you have to maintain the military in place. No, I disagree. You can you the citizenry. You arm the citizens. It's citizen patrol, right? Citizen army, right? That's how you that's how you take care of the the flood of immigrants, if any. Right? That's how you deal with it, right? You, you shut it down from the inside, right? The idea that a military, a foreign military might, someone made the point. I, I wrote everybody's names down, but it doesn't matter. Right? The, the guy who said that the military would be um, necessary to fight off a foreign power, that the oligarchy would move towards... For example, mo mobilize China or something like that. See, this is all this is all like crazy thought, right? Because the idea is very simple in passive resistance. It's not that complicated. But just to answer it, if a foreign entity like China <laughs> decided to, you know, invade the beaches of Coney Island, that's that's the reason why you bear arms. That's the reason that why you bear arms. You shoot to kill. Right? You defend your land. That's all we're talking about, right? So the idea that the oligarchy is, you know, you, you guys give these people way too much power. I mean, way too much. I mean, rich people are, are, are they're, they're basically very weak people. They, they're crybabies. They run to the courts. They'll run, you know, they run to the, to the government. Oh, help us, help us, help us. And fuck you. You've been stealing from us for so long. Now it's time to go. So those are my thoughts. I mean, I think that we, we would need to pick a time. Right? This is open discussion. Right? Pick a time, a pl you know, a date. What? What? How would this? How would this look in effect? How would we spread it across social media to actually make it catch on? Because once it catches on, it's like wildfire, right? right. Uh, and there is no, there's no, none of this. Go out into the street and protest with signs and and carry on like like a bunch of you know like the, the like pink pussy hat. Like, like, no, that's not what we're talking about. You're talking about bringing them down and guarding your property. Right. Mark's Conti reporting.